up guys, my name is Chris and in today's video I'm going to cover my top 5 things to do if you're visiting Kikaka. I recently spent 3 days there which was easily enough to be able to do everything that the, there is to do there. It's a very small island but there's still quite a lot of stuff that you can do. So number 5 is going to be visit the Coco King restaurant. So King Coco is a new restaurant that is on the northern island and basically if you go to the west coast of um, the southern island you can get a free boat that will take you it only takes like a minute to get there the only thing you got to do is just buy something at the restaurant but yeah easily worth it and then there you'll also have a little private beach and loads of like sunbeds and stuff where you can just chill out and hang out for a while Number four will be visit the beaches of Kikok of the southern island. When I went there on the east coast it was all full of seaweed so nobody was really using the beaches. But on the west coast if you head to the northwest of the island there was a really nice beach area. I will show you in this video where um, yeah there was pretty much no seaweed. Very relaxed place to hang out and just beautiful colored waters and palm trees. So that would be my fourth best thing to do. Number three is hang out at the Lazy Lizard Bar and Restaurant. This is at the, the north of uh, the southern island. So there has a big place to hang out. There's even like places where you can sit within the, in the ocean. There's also a cool diving deck that people jump off and cool music, a lot of reggae music, which is one of the main things that's always playing in Belize. It was pretty much the number one hangout place on the, on the island. Everybody would hang out there. Number two would be rent a bike. Key Cocker is very small so you can pretty much get, a, get around just walking but I thought the bike ride was a good way to explore the whole island quickly. Um, it also gave me a chance to go to the most southern point of the island which is all still kind of like nature and mangrove so it's a great place to go if you just want to see how the island would have looked in its natural form. There's also some really cool piers that you can dive off and swim around. So to get to the southern part of the island, all you gotta do is head down the east coast and you'll find a trail that goes all the way to the bottom. But that is a definitely a must do thing if you go in to Kikaka. Now number one has to be snorkeling the Belize Barrier Reef. As you may know, it is the second largest reef in the world behind Australia's Great Reef. And yeah, this is an absolute must. So for 65 US dollars, it only takes about 30 minutes to arrive there. It's really close, but there you'll be able to see the sharks, uh, manta rays, uh, sea turtles, and just all sorts of amazing fish. And the barrier reef just looks absolutely incredible as well. So that was one of the highlights of my entire trip in Belize. And that is just a must if you, if you go to that island, anybody will tell you that. So there you go, that is my top 5 things to do. If you want to see those activities in more detail, I will link a, a playlist at the end of this video that will show you each day and you'll be able to see everything, yeah, a full day of what I was doing pretty much, roughly like 10 minutes videos. As always, drop this video a like, subscribe if you like to see more videos of mine, and I'll see you in the next one.